Hi everyone and welcome to day 5 of 12 days of Christmas crafts. Today we have a make and decorate your own Christmas felt stocking. Uh, this says it comes with everything you need. Stocking pieces, yarn, a plastic sewing needle, white ribbon, mini plastic buttons, pom-poms, glue, adhesive foam letters, printed foam stickers, and an instruction sheet. And it makes a 50 centimeter high by 40 centimeter wide stocking. So let's open this up and take a look at the kit. Okay, so here's our instruction sheet. So fairly simple. These are the adhesive foam letters. A little bit folded, the box was crushed, but so it seems to be there's two sheets and quite a few of each letter. We've got some felt pieces. So I'm guessing this is for across the top. It's a long piece. And these are for the end. This is the stocking itself. Quite large. So it's already got holes around the edges too for sewing. These are the adhesive foam stickers. So let's have a look at what we've got in here. Got a little angel. A little sausage dog present Santa Gingerbread Man a Reindeer a Snowman an elf and another Santa. Okay. And here are a bit of everything in this bag. So we've got our ribbon, the glue, The yarn and our plastic needle and in the bag I'll leave them in there so I don't lose them are a bunch of buttons and pom-poms and I think I did just lose the button I'm not sure I'll have to check <laughs> okay, is there anything else in the box there is a Second instruction sheet. So we get two lots of instructions. <laughs> okay, so let me just set these to the side. Alright, so our first step on the instructions is to lay one piece of stocking on top of the other ready to be sewn together. They're already on top of each other, the two pieces here, so that makes things a bit easier. Start off by stitching together the red felt stocking pieces. They are pre-prepared holes. There are pre-prepared holes to make this step easy. Okay, so using your plastic needle and white thread, 
pre-thread the needle. So here's our needle and our thread. See if I can find an end. There it is. Let me just grab my scissors. Okay. So I'm not sure how much to start with here. I've never been good at judging the amount of thread needed for something. I'll go with that for now. Okay. So thread the needle. At least it's a nice thick eye to be threading. There we go. Hold the two red felt pieces together and start stitching. You can copy the example image of how this is done. Make sure to secure the start and finish with a knot. You know, see these pictures are not the greatest. They're in black and white. But it's sort of showing how to finish at each end. So. <clears throat> We will start over here. Break it through. Now it says to secure with a knot. My guess is it's going to need to be a fairly large knot because these holes are quite big. So, actually, what I'll do is I'll Bring the thread through. <clears throat> Come back through this one. Let me just make sure this is in frame. Let's Come back through there. And then we might thinking how to do this. Maybe tie this together. I'm not a sewer, so I'm sure that's fairly obvious by now, but <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll tie a little knot here. Our needle again. Go back through here. do is <clears throat> speed up a bit um, and come back once I have sewn this all together. Okay, so the next step is to add the green felt pieces. Now it says you don't have to stitch them to the red felt as they can be glued on instead. 
so I guess they're saying just put some thread through to look like a decoration and then glue it on but I've got plenty of thread left so I think I might sew them on just so they're a bit more secure so what I'm going to do is just start back here just sew these on the same as I was sewing the red pieces together Okay, so everything is sewn together. I'm just removing these little punched holes. <laughs> um, some of them detached as I sewed it up and some didn't, so I just thought I'll remove them all so they don't just randomly fall out later on. Now, the next step, just looking at the instructions here, is to trim the white ribbon to 30 centimeters, fold in half, glue the cut ends together, and then glue the top left corner between the green felt piece and the red felt piece. Okay. Now this works for me because I sewed it together, but it does say to do this before you glue the green piece to the red piece. So you would think they would tell you to do that step first. So we want a ribbon. Now it says to cut it to, oh, excuse me. Sorry, I dropped the rolling pin that I use for my diamond paintings, um, 30 centimeters. So, about there. So we want to hold it in half and glue these two ends together. Like it needs to go up in here. So put some glue down. Oh goodness, dropping everything today. Put the ribbon there. Some more glue on the top. And we'll push that down. And let it dry. Okay, the step after that is to decorate with pom poms, buttons, stickers, and letters. So, let's get our stickers here. And then we've got 
pom poms and buttons. And they are adhesive letters. So. Hmm. I think I'll try to follow the design that's on the packaging. Some new buttons. this toe piece These are probably going to take a while to dry, so I'm going to have to be careful here. And then more buttons on this side. And then the pom-poms go along the top. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. do this and so what I've done is some pom poms along here Yeah, the stickers. I think we need Santa up here. Right in the middle. And then he is going to have a snowman next to him. And then I'm going to use the letters to spell out Merry Christmas. So a little difficult to get off the backing sheet because they're not punched a hundred percent.
I think if we do Merry up here and then Christmas along here where there's a bit more room. So it shouldn't go anywhere, but we will see. Okay, so there's Mary. And we'll do Christmas down here. I'm just I'm trying to keep it all on the table. So none of the embellishments fall off while the glue is drying, but also trying to keep it in frame for you guys as well. They definitely give you plenty of stickers. some of these foam stickers left so we'll just place them wherever we can Okay, so I'll turn it this way, um, just give me a moment, I'll adjust the tripod and then we can try and fit the full thing in frame. Okay, we're up as high as I can get it, <laughs> um, so that's the best I can get it in frame. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, we'll see how the buttons and pom-poms end up drying. With the glue but um, yeah I think it's it's pretty cute it's a great little kit for a kid to do and I've still got one full sheet of the alphabet stickers I only needed to use letters from the first sheet and there's still some buttons and one pom-pom left and if we hadn't put the extra stickers on they would have been left as well 
so they could have been used for another craft. And everything came with the kit, so that's that's pretty good. So I will wrap it up here. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, you can hit the notification button next to subscribe and be notified when I post a video. And thank you all for watching. I will see you tomorrow for day six of 12 days of Christmas crafts. Take care. Bye-bye.